Hi everyone, we're very much in Easter mode at the moment in the studio and if you like the look of this then make sure you're watching on Friday to see the tutorial. Anyway, thanks so much for the amazing response to our France watercolour retreat in October. We've only got three spaces left so if you would love to come and join me there then head to the episode notes below for the link and all the information. But okay, uh, today we are going to paint a really sweet and simple Easter card doing simplified versions of all the Easter favourites, Easter Bunny, Easter Chicks, a few carrots, it's going to be lovely and really simple. So grab your paints and let's get started. So I've got a pre-scored bit of watercolour paper here um, which is a four by six inch card so um, four inches plus four equals eight, six down there, make a nice card shape um, watercolour paper is really brilliant for cards, you don't need anything else, uh, you can just paint straight onto it which is great. And I just drew a pencil circle to create myself a nice wreath and what I'm going to do with my cadmium yellow is I'm going to paint some yellow blobs around the edge and <laughs> essentially I am going to turn these yellow blobs into Easter chicks. And what I really love about this tutorial is just how much character you can get from literally a, a yellow bean shape, isn't it really? Um, I'm just I'm just painting honestly like there's there's no real plan here as such, other than I just want to get like a nice fairly even distribution of them. Um, but honestly, we can we can turn anything into any blob shape into a chick. And whilst we let those dry, I'm going to wake up some cadmium orange. I told you this would be simple, didn't I? And all I want to do is use this size four brush using the tip and then like that just not even popping one in each 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 gap because we can pop in some other things as well but just using the pressure to make a thicker line down to a thinner line gives us some lovely carrots and then i think what might be rather nice with this color scheme is just cut through it with some fresh blue to maybe make some forget-me-not style flowers. So just diluting that down a little bit and I will take a smaller brush here. What have we got? We've got a two-tenths brush. That's kind of ideal. And I am going to just paint Some very simple little dots. Now, if you've got um, uh, a child in your life who has been going, oh, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? That painting that looks interesting, and they're showing an interest in doing some watercolor painting of their own. Why not show them this tutorial? Because I think this might be a really nice introduction. And of course, Easter is a lot about sort of finding things to do in the Easter holidays and uh, one of my favourite things about Easter is the focus on making and craft. There seems to be lots of creativity with making Easter bonnets and all sorts of things for children at Easter and um, why not introduce them to a little bit of watercolour painting too. One of my most vivid memories is my mum showing us how to decorate eggs, like real eggs. I, I remember she very cleverly sort of took a skewer to a real raw egg and then managed to like blow all the contents out of it through a really tiny hole she'd made and then we had these amazing hollow eggs to paint it was incredible um anyway have yeah maybe sort of show show your kids this or your grandkids or whoever it is in your life who who maybe might be interested in having a go at getting creative um so we're going to just let that dry 100 percent and then we'll start 
making these chicks look a little bit more recognizable. Right, so we're going to go round the edge and add in some detail on these little chicks and carrots and all sorts. So I'm going to take some cadmium orange, I've still got my two tenths brush, and I'll start with a fairly, a fairly simple one. I'm going to do, I'm just actually going to take as much colour off my brush as possible, a little line and then I'm going to just do a little sort of dot uh, above and beneath and that turns it into a nice little front on beak. Then um, let's see, we'll do one sort of from the side. So a little orange triangle and uh, yeah we're just sort of going to place in the beaks like that and then we've also got some feet and we're sort of starting to create a a little character here, so let's just do that. So this one just sort of sat on its feet. Um, and then have a bit of fun, maybe just have one leg just stick it out the side. Um, I'm then actually going to take some cadmium yellow and then what it means is I could add, if I felt like I wanted to, just a few little, little wing. It doesn't need to be for all, maybe a sort of a like hooray, yay, wings. Um, there we are. And then to finish it off, a little bit of black, quite concentrated. I'm just twisting the brush in my palette and we'll have the eyes and I'm going to have them sort of quite wide. Maybe you might just need one. So that's how we create the chicks. I think this one's my favorite. Very, very cute. Um, right, now we've got some uh, burnt sienna and I'm just going to put some stripes down these carrots. Still with my two tenths brush. And now I'm going to get some sap green and just just do a few strokes coming out the carrots. And so the whole point of this card is that it's very simply painted and it's sort of charming in its naivety, I suppose. So with that in mind, for the forget-me-nots, we will just get a little bit of yellow in those flowers. And then we'll add some stems. And then we're going to put a bunny in the middle. For the stems of the uh, forget-me-nots, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to my sap green, just to lift it a bit and make it like a slightly different colour to the carrot stalks. Also, what I will say is um, I have green gold in my palette here. I know not everybody has that colour. Um, it's very, very similar to mixing sap green and cadmium yellow together. There you go. See, it's almost identical, isn't it? Um, so yeah, if you don't have green gold, just mix, mix a yellow and a green tone together and you will soon get something really nice and light and vibrant. Um, often when doing stems I'd use a, a rigger brush like this, the nice long uh, slender bristle, but because there isn't a huge amount of length required 
I'm just going to use my four tenths brush. All of the brushes I use are available in my Etsy shop. And what is um, particularly cool is if I have any here. Oh, no, I don't. Um, oh, there we go. Look at this. I've got De Winton Paper Co brushes with Pro Art because I am a brand ambassador. But yeah, so you can get your De Winton Paper Co brushes only from me in my Etsy shop or my website shop. Anyway, here we go. So some lovely forget-me-nots. And what is useful about these forget-me-nots is we can paint them along the line of the circular wreath to just help give us a bit more of a cohesion of the circular wreath. So now we've got our our outer wreath done, we're going to draw a bunny in the middle. And it's going to be really simple. So I'm just sort of look roughly eyeing up the middle. And I am going to draw sort of an egg shape, I suppose. With a big fluffy tail. And so the simplest way to draw a bunny is from behind. So we get, and by the way, we do have lots and lots of um, Easter Bunny tutorials and rabbits and all sorts of things. So if you want to have a go at something a bit more in depth, once you've had a go at this one, then by all means do. And then we'll get some rabbit ears. And there we are. And if you want, we could have could have a little chick maybe maybe sort of hatching out of an egg that could be quite fun and maybe let's have some some forget-me-nots so we'll have our little chick <laughs> oh lovely okay so the good thing to do once you've drawn your pencil in is to give it a light rubbing out it just makes your life a lot easier afterwards um, when you're trying to get rid of any pencil that you've painted over the top of. And I've just changed my water up because it was rather green. I think we'll get some yellow ochre. We'll start with that. So I might go down to a size two brush. I just want a bit more control. So I'm going to avoid painting the tail. So to go just underneath it. And once you've got that, you could take just a little bit of burnt sienna whilst it's still wet and just pop a tiny bit on the sides and you'll get a nice, just gently rounded shape. I don't want to make it too fancy though. The whole point of this is it's a really simple, uh, a simple basic tutorial. Now, this is going to bear no resemblance on reality, but I'm going to paint the egg in a very dilute cobalt turquoise. So I just added the little details on the chick and put a few uh, cobalt turquoise speckles on and then rubbed out the pencil and we've got ourselves a really sweet little Easter card 
that will just work brilliantly and bring a smile to anyone's face who sees it. So uh, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that one. I absolutely loved it. And uh, yeah, keep watching through the next few weeks for plenty more Easter content. And we've got so much already on the channel. Like I said, lots of lovely Easter eggs and Easter bunnies, Easter chicks, all sorts of things. It's a lovely time of year to get painting. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and we'll see you again next time. Bye.